Afternoon, VC. Uh, Dave on. Um, I've been seeing a few things around the VC um, as far as uh, Japanese pressed albums. So, was just uh, spinning a few records here this morning and just thought I'd. I don't have a lot. There's, well, there's a few here, but uh, I thought I'd pull what uh, LPs I have that are, were pressed in Japan. And um, the thing about these records are, to me, all these labels is this is, you know, if I'm going to pull a record that sounds amazing in my collection, these are some of the ones to, to pull. The, the Japanese just do it right. Um, they, they, a lot of labels just you know audiophile pressings without even needing the term um, so yeah we'll get into it um, and I mean if y'all feel like showing what uh, LPs you have pressed in Japan go for it um, I dig seeing the obis um, not all of mine have the obis obviously those are they you know a lot of them got thrown away but we'll get started here. Um, first one, this record I found at uh, Bob Shop, Rotten Chester. Um, more study in Brown, Clifford Brown. Now this does have the OB. Um, this was probably my favorite lineup that uh, Clifford played with: uh, Sonny Rollins, Harold Land, Richie Powell, George Morrow, Max Roach on the drums. Uh, this is uh, just in absolute dead mint condition uh not one that tom hooked up for me all right uh the next is one i found in uh savannah and i just couldn't leave it behind it's not an album i really wanted but um i do collect clifford brown so this is then this is an odd one uh clifford brown with strings on emerson and it's in this sleeve that's kind of like the tie pressing it's like a bag and it's on a uh, this Emerson label um, the, kind of the purplish label um, this one was really hard to, tr to c figure out what it was but um, it is with the Japanese um, writing on the back so yeah this is and this is from like 1957 I think um, it was cheap, so I grabbed it. It's not my favorite, but Max Rowe, Trichy Powell, George Morrow. Um, yeah, it's a little bit cheesy, but uh, a really cool uh, cool item. This one I still need a couple of the other volumes, but um, this is volume one of uh, Art Blakey and the Jazz Mes Messengers at uh, a Club St. Germain in France. And on the, the Great Victor label out of Japan. Um, so this is a Japanese pressing. This I found at Lunchbox um, for cheap. Uh, it sounds incredible. I, I do need the other. I think there's two more volumes. I think it goes to volume three. Um, really love this cover. Um, and it sounds, yeah, anything on Victor sounds fantastic. Um, this I think I got from Dusty Groove. Um, the New York Contemporary Five Consequences. This is a stereo. Japanese pressing on Fontana, not a Netherlands press, but uh, which are the originals, but this is this is absolutely wonderful. Um, of course, you've got uh, Don Cherry, Archie Shep, John Chakai, J.C. Moses, and Don Moore featured here, and I love these covers. Um, I'm trying to collect everything from fun of those, which is very hard to do. Here's uh, some Japanese presses of a band from Japan that I saw here at Neighborhood Theater in Charlotte. Uh, Kikagaku Moyo, one of the best shows I saw that year. Uh, this is their album, The Tall Grass. Um, this one's pretty good, but their other album after this that I have, uh, Masada Temples, this is killer. Great psych, uh, mixed with some other things. Um, got these at Lunchbox. He had got them around the time they were playing. And uh, these fly off the shelves. Uh, people are really into the Moyo. Great stuff. Um, fantastic band. 
Uh, you see these next two, I think, yeah, I also got them from Scott at Lunchbox. Um, another great Japanese label, the Trio Records label. And this is Elvin Jones' Jazz Machine, Machine Live in Japan, 1978. This has a sidelong version of A Love Supreme, which is just phenomenal. Frank Foster, Pat LaBarbera, Roland Prince, Annie McLeod rounds out the lineup with Alvin Jones on this one. Hard to find, but not expensive. And this one, uh, this one I actually was looking for because I really dig this car on the cover. This big pimp car. Evan Jones, McCoy, Tyner, Quintet, Love and Peace. Look at that ride. It was just, I mean, you can, you can haul the neighborhood in that bad boy. Uh, Farrell Sanders is here. Richard Davis. I mean, this is another fantastic one. Uh, again, on the Trio label. This one, um, I think, was a find from Permanent out in L.A. And this is... Uh, Masahiko Tagashi, Session in Paris, Volume 2, Color of Dream. Now, this features Albert Mangelsdorf, Takashi Keiko, and Jenny Clark. Um, great drummer, uh, Togashi. Togashi uh, he's confined to a wheelchair, but uh, man, the guy could play. Um, there's another volume of this I have, but it's not a Japanese press. But I uh, was very happy to find this. Um, it's the only time I've ever seen it, so I jumped on that and really dig Mangles Dwarf on the trombone um, one of the guys I dig on that on that instrument this next one is one that uh, is a grail for a lot of us um, and uh, this is one that um, I learned about through oh, the first time I started watching uh, Teddy when it was Eat Sleep Vinyl and uh, that's the Max Roach Quartet Namo uh, again, I think this is Victor. Yeah, this is on Victor. This is a fabulous record. Um, missing the Obi, but uh, other than that, it's, I mean, this is just... The, this lineup was one of my favorites ever in jazz. Uh, Billy Harper on tenor, Cecil Bridgewater trumpet, Reggie Workman bass with Max Roach. I don't know if it gets any better. Um, and then, and that's an original. These are also originals. Uh, on the Denon label, another great Japan label, uh, the Max Roach Quartet Live in Tokyo. And I've got uh, volume one here. Uh, this one is Mint with the Obi. Uh, same lineup I just mentioned. This is from 77 in Tokyo. They do a version around midnight that just is killer on this. And then this next one, this actually arrived in the mail the exact day we had the eclipse freaked me the fuck out. I mean, freaked me out. I mean, that was, I ordered it and I can't, you know, it's coming from a long ways and it literally was on the porch after I got done looking at this at, outside at work in the afternoon. I was like, what the hell? But yeah, and so that's uh, volume two. Great stuff. Another one um, I got early on. Uh, missing the Obi, but uh, Mal Waldron, Teramaso Hino, Reminiscent Suite is an original. I think this is also on Victor. And uh, Matahiko Hino on the drums. Fan this is just an essential record. Um, if you can find it, this one's not as easy to find anymore. This is beautiful, beautiful stuff. Next, I have a Sonny Rollins Freedom Suite on Victor. This sounds incredible. Uh, Victor, is, she, she can't go wrong. Uh, this is Oscar Pettiford, Max Roach, just a trio from 1958. Uh, the side one is where it's at on this record. Side two is okay. Uh, it's not my favorite, but side one is unbelievable. Freedom Suite, side long piece, just essential. Um, next, another great label. This is, oh, who the hell? Um, Alan was showing some uh, records he found on this label, like cheap at a charity shop or something. Um, Three Blind Mice, and this is uh, Terramasa Hino Quintet Live. Um, this is one of my favorite Hino records. This is great trumpet player. Um, 
course, Matahiko Hino on the drums. This is a fantastic live performance in Tokyo from 73. Uh, a favorite. Next, uh, another label, Love Records out of Japan, reissued some Hino records for Record Store Day a year or two ago. Um, and yeah, this record is one of the best jazz records I have. Um, Teramasa Hino meets Reggie Workman, A Part. This is, the drums on this are mind blowing. Um, Matahiko Hino again. Uh, this, this is, this is an unbelievable record. Way, way up there. Great reissue. Uh, <laughs> originals on that are four digits, I think. I got, uh, this one I got at Dusty Groove. Hino's Journey to Air with the OB. Uh, not a first pressing, but an early pressing. Um, this is really cool. Uh, Labels this on. This is uh, overseas records. This is uh, out there stuff for you know. This one's a difficult listen. Um, very very free avant. Uh, pushing boundaries. This one. Um, just two side long pieces. Journey to Air one and two. Um, not my favorite he knows, but uh, challenge challenging one. Challenging one. Uh, next, this is. I ordered this from Japan, and it came in t like 10 days or less, um, DHL, and this is a mint copy of uh, Love on the Sudan, Billy Harper Quintet, with the OB, the insert, the whole nine. Um, this is, I just listened to this the other night. Um, beautiful stuff. Um, later 70s, so it does have that later 70s sound, um, 1977, but uh, just fantastic. Billy Harper still playing. Um, some Denon jazz. Uh, Billy Harper did Soren Bushi uh, BH. Uh, mine is missing the OB. Um, Everett Holland's trumpet. Uh, Harold Mayburn piano. Horsey Arnold on drums. Billy Hart also on drums here. Greg Maker bass. Some really good stuff. It's original on that. More Harper, another one I wish I had the OB for. It's a nice big old o brown OB, I think. On Denon, this is uh, Knowledge of Self. Um, another, this one, this one's really good. Uh, just two side long pieces. Um, spiritual, great stuff. Kenny Barron on piano, Ever Holland's trumpet, Malcolm Pinson on drums. This is a tight lineup, really, really good. And this one, another original. This one's on another great Japan label, Bay State. Uh, if you ever see anything, that label, recommend picking it up. It's going to sound great. Um, this is an original, The Believer, from Billy Harper. Uh, similar lineup up to what I just said, with Pinson and Holland's maker. This is from 1980, so a little bit later in his catalog. Next one I got from, from Teddy, uh, Charlie Mingus Prebird on Limelight uh, from Japan uh, the, on the Nippon Phonogram Company. Um, this has got a really good version of Take the A-Train on it. Uh, it's a great Mingus. This one I was happy to find. Um, this is a first Japanese pressing of Brilliant Corners from Thelonious Monk. Can't remember where I found this, but uh, on Victor. Um, this is just a phenomenal sounding record. One of the best Monk records. Um, right there. Sonny Rollins, Ernie Henry and Clark Terry. Clark Terry underrated. couple Lee Morgan records pressed in Japan. Um, let's see. These are Toshiba EMIs and these are these are great. Uh, so 
I think I might have featured this one in the 1500 series. Like in that nice 33 and a third micro groove. Maybe did the labels for these. Any any of the J Japanese pressings for Blue Note are worthy of picking up. And I think they're even less expensive than Music Matters, um, even though they're pressed way beforehand. Um, and then a volume three on uh, the same Toshiba EMI, just mint copies. Um, can't remember where I found these. Maybe uh, Carolina Soul. And this one I just picked up um, on Philips in Japan. Anything Philips anywhere is good, but uh, this is this is a fantastic pressing. Joe Henderson and Kikuchi, Terra Masahino in concert. I just showed this. This is great. Japanese first pressing of Getz Gilberto on Verve. So the first year that Japan put this out. This is mint. Now this is Lunchbox. This, this is an incredible sounding record. This is a record, you know, one of the most common records ever, but uh, it's good. One of the first jazz records I ever bought at Lunchbox. Um... Can't talk about Japan without talking about Boris and the new album No, uh, Japanese press with the Obi. Um, real heavy stuff, but uh, this is a more accessible album for Boris, so if you're just dipping toes, this would be a good one to start with. Um, real a lot of groove with this album. Um, Bloodsucker Records out of Japan this is a great one. And then this record I just got the other day from Dylan at Noble Records, Flower Traveling Band, Made in Japan, uh, Japanese Press Original on Atlantic. And this is the full package. Uh, I'm not going to take it out of the deal there, but amazing, amazing, amazing guitars. That's all my uh, Japanese pressings for LPs. Um, I don't know what got into me to do this video, but there you go. So let's see what you got with that. Peace.